Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Runner, a board certified orthopedic surgeon, fellowship trained in hip and knee reconstruction here at All Store Orthopedics. I want to talk today about the anesthesia around your hip or knee replacement and what are the options are. Two of the main options would be general anesthesia or spinal anesthesia. In general anesthesia, we often put you all the way to sleep, a breathing tube in your mouth, and we're breathing for you via a machine. In spinal anesthesia, we insert a needle into your spine to numb your legs. You then go to sleep with IV medicines, so you're not feeling or remembering anything about the surgery. When you wake up, you may or may not be able to feel your legs, but that numbing medicine wore off with time and allow you to get up and function. One of the differences and benefits of spinal anesthesia is the anesthesiologist will insert a needle between your bones in the back and numb you from the waist down. This allows your brain to not feel any of the pain generators or receptors coming from the procedure. When you recover and wake up, you may have some residual numbness, which I tell patients to enjoy, because once that numbness goes away, the pain from the surgery is coming. Spinal anesthesia has been shown to have lower side effects and lower risk of complication in total joint arthroplasty and is a preferred anesthesia when possible.